Hi, welcome to Collective Gifts. I'm Noella and this is Rachel. Hey, hey, Collective Gifts. Have you ever been going through a time where you may be standing on the Word of God to work within your, your life in some way or maybe with your loved ones and it just seems like it's just going on and on and on and there's nothing that's changing. And so you get discouraged, right? And you want to give up. Well, I had a similar instance because when we're battling symptoms, there I am reflecting on life and just thinking and getting insight about different things. And one of the things I saw was with one thing I was believing God to do, um, there was not, nothing, no change going on whatsoever. And, you know, I was thinking and ta talking to God about how, you know, I've been standing on the word on this and it seems like we're pouring forth and investing in the, um, the harvest that we want to get, but yet there's still nothing going on. And so I was just telling God, you know what? I give up. <laughs> like I do like, you know what? I give up. I'm done. I'm going to give it to you because what happened was the insight that I got was, I kept getting disappointed and and people are doing their own thing and they're fine in whatever they're going in with but I'm the one that's wounded and if I'm the one that's wounded then that means I'm the one with the problem which means there there's unmet expectations because I'm the one that's setting those expectations and uh and so God was working on me to see that I needed to continue to work on me and get healed in certain areas which is fine but with the part of the whole giving up part you know I was still like okay I'm done I'm just gonna let you do it because it's not my control or my plans it's his ways and his plans which are perfect and the funny thing was that when I was in that moment we had a service at church that we went to and in the bathroom as I was washing my hands um, there's little words of encouragement um, affirmations that are on the mirrors and this one particular side I hardly ever go to so I was like okay let me just try this side and I looked up and what was the word on there never give up <laughs> so I'm like okay God that was a good word of encouragement and then the word that was spoken was basically a word of encouragement reminding us that God makes all things possible and, you know, with Sarah and Abraham getting that promise of the son, you know, they didn't think it was going to happen. In fact, Sarah laughed about it, right? But then God showed up and manifested the promise that they've been waiting for years. And so that was an encouragement for me, which I know a lot of other people are going through things too, where you want to give up. And so we want to encourage you today, don't give up. It's just so easy to want to give up, especially when you don't get your way or things mm -hmm. don't happen according to what you think should happen. And, you know, we live in the, the times now where we want things to happen yesterday. We want now. It now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like, you don't want, nobody wants to wait. And it just, especially like with people driving to it, they just seem more impatient and they don't want to wait their turns, especially at four-way stops. And so in the Bible, it says in Hebrews 10, 35, 36, it says, um, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward, for you have need of endurance. And so that's what we need to endure, to continue to keep pressing forward and not give up. And then it says, after you've done the will of God, you may receive the promise. And so we continue need to press forward and just keep going and just encourage yourself too, especially when you feel down and like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. I want to give up. But, you know, find those um, scriptures in the Bible that encourage you, that mm -hmm. keeps you to keep pressing forward and keep going because know, know that God will work everything out for your good. It, it, sometimes it's like not according to our timetable, but according to his timetable. Mm -hmm. And we know when we're praying according to his will, when we know that it's his will for a particular thing, then he will go forth and fulfill his promises because he hastens his word to perform it. His word never returns back to us void. And as you're talking about that, it was reminding me too of First Peter 5 verses um, 9 to 10, which talks about how we need to continue to go forth in faith, be immovable, be steadfast in our faith. And remember, there's other people that are going through things too, right? They're experiencing the same sufferings. And, you know, not only that, but during this time, God wants us to continue to go forth by faith because what's that doing? It's establishing us in our faith. It's preparing us to how we ought to be, meaning what that promise is, we can't go forth in it right now if we're not ready, right? Because we're only going to botch it or sabotage it. So if we want to go forth in the promises of God, we too have to make ourselves ready. We have to be strengthened and encouraged because there's going to be times maybe when those loved ones come, come back into your life, 
the prodigals come back, right? They're going to push your buttons because hurt people hurt people. How are you going to respond? Are you going to respond in love or are you going to get offended and then retaliate back? And so this is where it are, it's our opportunity to continue to grow, to develop, to so that we are made perfect and complete, not lacking in anything, in any area, any area of our life, in our faith walk. And so we want to encourage you, never give up because God is working. He's faithful to complete everything that which perfects you. He's faithful to complete everything that um, which perfects your loved ones. And so he's going forth. He's already fixed what was going on. He's already answered the prayers. We just have to go forth in that process. Persevere through that process so we can get to the promise. So be encouraged, y'all. We hope that this ministered to you. And we will see you again soon. And until next time, Shaloha. Shaloha.